So, can I ask you? Yes, you may. Uh, yes. <laughs> since it is um, obviously the announcement of the final season, um, so is it a luxury then, I guess, for you, uh, for you two to kind of kind of plan out all the episodes and kind of wrap the storyline of um, Sarah and her sisterhood um, together at the end? Yeah, it it's a huge um, leg up for us. It's very like we don't have to think about next year, so we can work to an endpoint. It's an endpoint that we, John and I, have known for a long time. Yeah. So to be able to put that on the board and then build to it is um, it's a it's it's you said a luxury. It's kind of a luxury for the writers' room, isn't it? It sure is, and um, it, it's uh, it's fun to be able to kind of look back over over the the last four seasons and and use season five a little bit for exactly the uh, you know that per, that that the the purpose of looking back, you know, and uh, but also to know that we're going to get big answers and um, um, and 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 but there's also a desire from us to like. To be able to, you know, much as we like to tell, you know, breakneck plot stories, that we we kind of really want to spend some time in season five, the you know fans that are like, you know, everyone has got their favorite girl, and uh, we want to be able to give some a bit more time, uh, you know, character centric episodes that where you can kind of, you know, if you're a favorite, if you're a Casima fan, you get like a very Casima. Focus centric on it, yeah. story or if you're a Helena fan you get a little bit of, a bit of backstory for her you know and, and uh, you know and really kind of dig into the characters a little bit and let the fans kind of you know let them get let, let them get a broader understanding of the girls well, I for one was very excited to see Delphine and Cosima um, <laughs> reunite let's say uh, yeah, good. Good. yeah that was a nice capper for and, the season and it was tough it was tough keeping that secret too because people <laughs> were people were kind of upset with us that we had uh, that we had uh, put a bullet in Delphine and and it was hard like keeping that a secret and you know you just want to tell everyone please please stop <laughs> stop hurting us <laughs> we have a big surprise for you on, on that note about you talking about characters keeping focus on there um are we going to get introduced to another clone next season are we going to lose a clone maybe are we gonna <laughs> i think all things are on the table okay. are, i think it's certainly on the table but we have i don't know what do you think Graham? <laughs> we we can't you know we can, and there's an expectation that each season needs a new clone, but in your last season, is that true? We are more interested in the clones that we have and in looking back and really going, where did they start and where are they now? And what, what and, and have them, as well as the audience, understand the journey toward uh, a, a, you know, a very alternative family that these characters have, have plus, been through. Plus we have so little story space, you know, like the 10 episodes, 42 minutes each. It's, uh, and you know, like, do we have room in our final season to introduce, because I don't want to just introduce, we don't want to introduce a new clone and then not be able to really do her and, and focus on her and give her her own thing. And it's, so I don't know. But we, we do have, the, the season does give us the opportunity to go back and revisit a lot of characters that we may have touched on. So we're really looking forward to that. Like, you know, last year we brought back um, Matt Frewer for, for a little bit. We're looking... Uh, the flashback. Yeah. Flashback episode. We're, so we're looking looking forward to flashback being episode. able to do those kind of things. How close so. is that question for this season to what you thought the last season would be? Are you're pretty on track with how you saw the show? I think it's pretty on track. <laughs> you know, but when we were casting forward way back when, I mean, we literally sort of like pitched what we thought might be the final end of the show when we were trying to get the show made. Yeah. I don't. We only had like, when we sold the show, we had one season really strongly and two more sort of vaguely sketched out with a kind of an ending. And then as the show got popular, we were like, oh my lord, we gotta actually like figure this shit out, right? Like we gotta like figure out how to make that actually stretch further. Um, and so you're constantly kicking back, you know, pushing the ending back and back and trying to like elongate the mystery. And 
it's uh, it's nice to hear. I don't know. It's I think it's pretty close to I what we originally kind of, talked kind of close. about. Some of it we kind of like cannibalized forward. What we thought might be the end stuff ended up happening earlier. But I, I think that this is kind of this, you know, this. We're excited though. It's this, got a big goal ending. that Sarah has. It's, it's got a big ending. It's got a lot of answers. You know.